it's me diva and welcome again to my channel diva Shiro concept so for today's video is another way of learning how to manage your gmail account all right so our topic will be focusing on how we organize our emails on our gmail account but before we go further i would just like to inform you that there is a previous video i made regarding gmail account so if you have not seen that one everyone then kindly uh, check the link on the description below so that you can also watch that one all right so these are the things that you're about to learn in our video today first you would be applying inbox type because this would be another way of organizing your emails. Second is we're going to learn how to sort our emails by using in particular filters and labels. Alright, so I know you're pretty much excited to learn these things. So please like the, the video here if you think this would be useful and share it to your friends so that they will also learn what you have watched on this video and of course please do subscribe to support me and help me reach out to more viewers all right so let's go back again and let's go straight to my email so I have here my sample email so I'm pretty sure you don't want to have a scene like this on your inbox so well it's kind of a mess so don't you worry we're going to organize all of this all right so first we have to uh, apply an inbox type so you click the gear icon here on top and it would lead you to the quick settings so you scroll down a bit and you will arrive and see the inbox type so as you can see right now i have already set and read first because i want to find out which among my emails arrived that i have not opened and read yet so here you see already what are being displayed are the unread okay or you can also have the important first that are marked as important or it can be that are being marked as star okay or further customization okay so in my case i just have to settle with the unread first because i want to be notified that these certain emails i have not attended to it yet all right so that's for applying an inbox type now let's close this one the next thing that we are about to discuss here is how to sort our emails so that we can have a better look on our inbox or we may be able to access it right away so usually we can also search our email by using this search box here but i'm pretty sure it would be tasking if you have to do it from time to time like for example if you remember like um, a certain email coming from uh, one of your accounts that you have been working on so let's say tournament and then you press enter and then there it will be sorted out this way so you can be able to uh, see them right away all of those that are coming from this tournament website okay or this newsletter all right so uh, all of them are placed in the inbox all right so if i want them to be placed in a particular certain folder so that it would be easy for me to locate them from time to time and i don't have to keep on typing here on the search box so all i have to do is i just have to uh, create a filter here all right so probably let's let's open up this one and then 
you can actually it's either you would select this word here this keyword or you may have this this one from the URL you can select that and then copy so since it's a newsletter so it is coming from this side so probably I can uh, or if not the entire uh, email address or particularly this domain on the of the address there you go and let's copy it and then let's go to this uh, search options here okay. and you paste it from the from because you would be expecting that all of those uh, newsletter coming from this website it would be automatically be placed into a particular label or probably you can call it as a folder okay so then let's create uh, there are some other things that you can customize here depending on how will you set up your filter filtering process for your email okay so as of this time i'll just have to be contented with this and it already detected the that it has a word tournament all right so let me create a filter and it will bring me to this uh, options here so when a message is an exact match for your search criteria so you can customize this one further so probably you don't want to place it on the inbox anymore so you can actually hit this or you can mark a thread, star it, apply a label, then many of the options. So as you can see, it already located uh, a matching conversation. So that's what I have shown to you a while ago. So you just have to tick this checkbox here so that it will also be placed in a particular uh, label. So I'm now using a filter and at the same time, I'm going to apply a label here. But since the so I have to put this and let's take this one first and since I don't have any of this uh, existing label uh, it doesn't match to where am I going to place this particular um, email that I have filtered so let me just create a new one so there are several ways on how you would create a label so you may create it via settings or you may create it here on the left panel so you just have to uh, scroll down on the left panel and look for manage labels or if not create a new label all right so let's have this one new label and let's give a name so since it's about tournament so probably I would create a label like gaming and you can also have a sub label if you want to but I'm just going to settle with the gaming first so let me hit the button create and since I am contented with this and everything is set then let me create this filter all right so let's see if i hit the inbox so there so let's look at the here it is the tournament so it has already a label here which is gaming so it, it, it is much easier so if, even if i close this one and I'll go back to inbox and I want to locate all of those about the tournament so I just have to look into the left panel here and look for the gaming label and if I hit this there I could see already all those uh, tournament uh, emails coming from that particular uh, website Right. So just like here, 
I'll be showing to you like I have this okay so it is, is much easier for me uh, to see right away if I'll, you will make use of the label and the filtering all right so in our inbox uh, you can also like for example this is uh, let's have this so I would say I would have this let's copy let's have another one and then let's place it here so if you press enter you have there all of those that have those words uh, project proper to project will be uh, searched and displayed all right so same thing you just have to create a folder so that you can filter all of this and you just have to skip the inbox so that it will not be seen there all right so there you go everyone so I hope I have shared to you uh, a very useful information that could somehow help you out in managing your Gmail account all right so guys so if you think that this video is of help to you so please hit the subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you would be notified of my upcoming video all right so please subscribe and like this video if you think this is very helpful and worth learning so everyone let's continue learning so that will be all until then thank you so much Bye for now.